Hello, hello everybody. My name is Dima, and welcome back to another Minecraft video. Today is a much different video. As you can see, I'm in creative mode. I'm usually don't even play in creative mode. But for today, I'm going to be showing you guys a new underground cave base system or like concept. In a sense that like you could build a cool base in the new 1.17 caves update. And before we drop down, which is just right down there, I just want to go over something real quick. What you see in the video is like not fully complete. And the world generation has changed in the later snapshots. But nonetheless, if you get a huge cave system like this one, then you'll be able to make similar bases or like do something like I did. So with all that out of the way, we come over here this is like a little quick dropper i made because i couldn't really find a way to build outside with the river or like ocean right over here so i just made a quick dropper so with nothing else let's go this is where you start off as you can see it's already opened up all the way and i have torches everywhere because i didn't put ambient lighting in i just I just wanted to make this to show a concept that people can make and I think it's pretty cool and unique and just different from any other really world out there that people do. So this is like the main entrance and then these are the huge like stairs that go down. So I'll just come right down here as you can see it like bridges off down here. It's like a little bridge covering this like weird ravine. And when you walk over here, we'll just run. We got some more stairs. We'll come down here. Yeah, there's a lot of like stairs in here. And then this is like where you could start seeing everything. This is just a walled off area because there's nothing behind here. You can see. It like just not really much. If you come over here and this is what it looks like from the front. You know, I think it looks pretty cool the way it is. It could be much better. You can do some more terraforming over here and put fences up. But I just made this in about two weeks. So it could be much better, but this is what we got for now. And then if you come down this little like pathway, it'll open up the main area. So we have grass as the ground. because I feel like it gives more of a nature-y feeling. And it just looks nice with all the caves and all that. And up here, I experimented with leaves as roofs. And it turned out to be much harder than I thought because look at like how it just comes down so much. You know, it's hard to like make it all line up with how the cave like arcs at the top. So you come over here. There's nothing much. I'm lagging out of nowhere. There we go. Got a little like cool pond river thing right over here. If you run up here, we just have like a sectioned off area. There's nothing back there. So it'll be like a cool mine shaft wall almost. And up here, we have a little like ambient wheat farm. And I'll give it some color and more of like a purpose on that ledge. So yeah, this is this is actually where I started building and I branched out over there. So yeah moving along when we run over here we have a little like boat river system because this all this was all stone and it generated naturally and i was like you know what this would be a cool dock and we could have like a boat section so you could go to the other end of the base pretty fast but we'll do that towards the end of the video if we come up here once again, nothing much. I didn't put too much in here. I just kind of made it look nice. So if you come up here, there's nothing much. We have a pathway over here to this bridge. We'll do that one next. And this is what it looks like. So if you run over here, we'll just fly to speed things up. Just have like a platform. Like I could have put a few farms here, maybe like a little redstone machine or something but this is just for looks for now and yeah this is what the bridge looks like i kind of 
I try to make it look realistic with the support beams and bottom bases. You can see it even like branches out into the pond we have. And there's some more of that uh, leaves for the roof, which actually looks pretty cool. It just has to be done right. If I covered the whole thing and really took the time to do it, it would look amazing, I, I think. So yeah, this is what the bridge looks like. You know, I think it's pretty cool. And right over here, if you come down here, we have a little secret house. There's nothing behind here, as you can see. It's like just garbage. I thought like a cool house built in the wall would be sick. Even though there's no windows or anything, it's the bare minimum for something. But if I always want to, I could always just go back in and just update it. But I just made this world to show off a cool concept you could do, as I already said before. This is a waterfall. It was actually like one of those weird pillars that go all the way up. But I thought that like, oh, with how it like levels off down here. And like, this is a hill. I thought we, oh, we could put a natural pond here. So that's what I did. We made this waterfall. I think it looks pretty cool with the fences and wood. Looks realistic that you look something. Let me try again. It looks like something you would find in a, uh, in a real mine. Almost like a little water pathway. So, yeah, if we move along over here, we'll go run back. And we go to this side. We have another, like, little corner off area that we could make it go out to there if we really wanted to. But, once again, probably not going to do that. You run over here. The bridge is the same concept almost. I just don't have the beams going across because it goes into the wall. But I thought it would look pretty weird if I did that. So I just left it as it is. You run over here. You have the, like a little balcony. You can see the rest of the base. It would look even better if I went in and did ambient lighting. Like I, I even tried down here which looks pretty cool but... That would have taken long, and by the time I did all that, this update would have kind of died down, which it already kind of did, but we're not going to get into that. So this is what it looks like, and I decided it would be a cool place to put a nether portal with, like, nether brick theme going into the wall. I think that looks pretty cool, like, from the base. It's like, ooh, mysterious. Face is out. You can see it from like across the whole area. So if you just run over here, just nothing much, just like a little edging, balcony, terrace concept thing. You look over, you can see the base, you see our house, the other bridge. And over here, there's just a huge opening. You could do a lot here if anyone wanted to. With more of that balcony edging. And this is the farthest out we went in the base. Because it kind of stops off over there and opens up again. Right down there which I'll show you. But yeah. This is something I've been working on for the past few weeks. And I thought it came out pretty well. Forgot to bone mule this area but that's all good. This is what it looks like when you come all the way out. It looks pretty built up already. I'll probably never play in this world after this, to be honest, but that's besides the point. So now I have to show you guys the boat system. So we'll run all the way back. You know, absorb it. You can see like the farm from all the way back here, like the roofing. I think it looks pretty sick, and I can't wait to actually implement this type of landscape in my. Uh, actual survival world you guys want to check that out so we come down here and we hop in the boat we could easily just come over here and you know if we want to we could like take this way I'll go both ways for now so we could just, we'll just go here you drop down and you can just keep going keep swimming if we ever expand over there this is where the river ends and then it just opens up to another like smaller cave system in a swamp biome so it doesn't even look that good with grass 
So we'll go all the way back and I'll show you the other side. Even though it's nothing, it literally just wraps around and drops in the same area. It's, a, it's fun to drift around almost if you're feeling a little bored. You could just like come here, come down here, drop, like drift around over here, and then drop down again. And we even have some magnum blocks, so you could sink by accident if you're not careful, just like that. I think that's pretty cool as well. And yeah, this is the whole base pretty much. It isn't much, but it did take a long time to do. About two weeks of like every day, playing for like an hour every day. So this is if anyone's going to build anything like this, it would definitely be more of a long-term project. But it's pretty well. You know, you got the bridge coming over here. So yeah, I cannot wait for the... Uh, new 1.17 update to come out for older worlds and by the way all the stone you see if you try to load up a new world now it's gonna be a different color i think it's basalt just check yeah it's basalt blocks so it'd be much darker but you could still figure it out you know have nice color schemes going along with it so yeah, that's pretty much it for the base. I just wanted to show you guys a cool concept. I probably said that too many times this episode, so. Anyways, that'll be the end of this video. Hope you enjoy, and if you're new here, please consider dropping a like and subscribing. It really helps me out a lot, and with that out of the way, I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.